If you find the evolution of plants interesting, then you'll find this absolutely fascinating. This is a female cone from an encephalatus, which is a genus of cycad. Cycads are primitive plants. They were the early vascular plants that, have, that evolved after ferns. Cycads are in the same category as plants as the conifers and the ginkgo and they fall into the taxonomic group of gymnosperms. Gymnosperms differ from angiosperms. Angiosperms are these lovely flowering plants that are common to all of the garden plants we see around us today. What's unique about the gymnosperms is the way in which they reproduce. They have developed on from ferns which reproduce by spores and they have a system called the alternation of generations. And this is when the spore producing body, the sporophyte, produces spores which blow in the wind and then they settle somewhere that is ideal conditions for them where they will then germinate and form a gametophyte. This gametophyte has half the amount of chromosomes of the original sporophyte. The gametophyte is then fertilised with the opposite sex, which is also has the half amount of chromosomes. They then produce a sporophyte plant, which is the main um, spore producing body that we see around us today and that we commonly know as ferns. This comes from a sporophyte and this is also a sporophyte. So this is the um, the evolutionary development where the alternation of generation, where the alternation of generation has um, amalgamated into one plant. So this has the, double the amount of chromosomes, so this is diploid in nature. But inside this clivia here is the gametophyte, which is um, the haploid generation of the, the, of the alternation of generations. And when this plant is fertilised, it has the pollen which goes down the pistil of the stigma and it fertilises the egg. And then you have half, two halves of the chromosomes joining together to, to form a zygote, which is the diploid generation, which then forms a seed and a new plant. With the gymnosperms, instead of the seed being held in an ovary, they are held naked on a cone. So once this has um, been uh, pollinated, um, typically either by wind or by an insect, the um, bits of the cone just fall away to reveal the seed and the seed will just stay there exposed. So gymnosperm means naked seed. Like this. Whereas with an angiosperm, the flower will fall away and the ovary will grow and swell and form a fruit. Whereas the gymnosperms, they just have a naked seed like that. So, that is the difference. That's how they are, um, that is why they're interested, interesting, is because they're incredibly old, um, they're primitive, they um, were before the age of flowers, and um, they, but they led to the, the, the age of flowers. So it's the, the next step from the fern and before the magnolia and the clivia. And that's the cycad, the conifers and the ginkgo.